why are we looking down on our sisters and brothers? If you enjoyed RJ Palacios' Wonder, then this is the next book for you. Don't we know everyone's got a father and mother? The day we know a boy whose introversion is often isolating. He falls into confinement with no foreseeable way of escape. That's when he knows what true isolation is like. And not enough love to go round. Oh, oh, what a waste. Another day, another good one. A grandma who acts like a spiritual guide and sees the multifaceted reality of childhood. We know we're all the same. Why can't we just get along? If love is one another's wrong, then how are we supposed to get close to each Kelly presents us with a diverse construction of childhood in which Filipino folklore and oral traditions take precedence over contemporary fairy tales. Kelly gives us a counter story by showing how a person who is deaf is not necessarily weak, as the girl who lives in silence is the bravest of them all. Two sisters who look up to the stars and down to the rocks in order to see the fate that interlocks. Because there are no coincidences. Because a misguided bully brings them all together. To a book that begins at the end. <laughs>